While I was looting a convenience store, I noticed there were two of those strobes outside the window. After I ducked down, I realized that they were both making unusual noises. Like, aside from the clicking noise, they were making different tones. Has anyone else noticed this? I was really nervous driving into the city limits, but I'm here. Please help. I can't stay. There's something inside. My mom got out. I had her locked away because she wasn't herself anymore. And now she's out. I, I can't do this again. What the hell did I just wake up to? I'm being extremely careful. Driving slow with all the lights off to avoid unwanted attention. No signs of life yet, which puts me really on edge. I've been frantically messaging Lost Sun News all day. No response. And no tweets since late last night. I'm really worried. I, I don't know what to do about this. Should I message again? I didn't even stop to really think about what condition Nat has been in all this time. Not until now. Side note. I noticed a new photo in the album. I do not recall taking this. I'm here, Tucker. I'm alive. I got out. Are, are you okay, kid? Are you hurt? What happened? I'm, I'm bleeding a lot. My mom broke out of the basement where I locked her in. I couldn't hurt her even though I, I should have. I couldn't do that to my parents again. So I left. For the first time in a long time, I left. Nat, I'm so sorry. It hurts a lot. I, I don't know where I am now, but... It's cold and dark and I'm alone. Do you have any means of getting into another building? A neighbor's house? Anything? No, I, I tried. All doors are locked. I tried breaking a window, but it's way tougher than it looks. I don't know how I can help. I can't believe this, but I'm going. I'm tired of feeling useless. I'm going to find Nat. This city isn't as ransacked as I thought it would be. Stockpiling as much food as I can find. I don't know when I'll have this opportunity again. What about gas? <laughs> Not so lucky on that front. If I don't find some fuel soon, I'm probably going to have to start searching on foot. Seems like Lost Sun News and The Mad Joy are in a similar situation that Daniel and I are. Good luck on finding each other out there. I hope we're both successful. Where are all the people? I... Don't know. It is cold enough here that it makes sense not to see any ships or strobes, but people? That concerns me. Eight months later, I'm back trekking through Indianapolis again. Much less active this time around, and about half of the electrical grid is out. Siphoning fuel from various cars, I've got about half of a jerry can filled, trying to find more. Alright, I'm at the address Nat sent me. Looks around and can't find anything. No response from Nat on Twitter either. What should I do? I'm gonna take your advice. I'm gonna get into the house and have a look around. The house was way more kept up on the outside. This looks like it's been a shithole for a long time. No way this much grime and dust has accumulated in just 10 months. That's what I did when I tried to reach my family. I was thinking about myself. And look what happened to them. I'm not making the same mistake again. I've tried contacting Nat. No response. Don't know what to do except sit here in this cold, dark house. I've looked everywhere in the surrounding area and in this house. Except for the basement. I know what's down there. Based on what Nat tweeted. I hate being a passive bystander. Trust me. But there's fuck all I can do now. Unless you people have any ideas. I'm trying to think of any possible reason as to why Nat is MIA. It's freezing outside, so no ships and a very low chance of drones. It could be dark water, but after checking GPS, there's no bodies of water within a 10 mile radius. It's honestly depressing that the one time you decide to extend your hand to another to help them, you're too late. It can't be too late. There's gotta be something I'm missing. I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? When I press up against the wall leading to the basement, 
I hear this. I'm in the basement. I found Nat and her mom. Nat is okay, I think. At least she's alive. I'm trying my best to comfort her. Oh, God. I just got back to where I parked. There are four people standing in front of my car with their backs facing towards me. I won't be able to outrun them. I have to get to the car. That's the only way I can escape. Doing my best to quietly approach, fill up the tank, and get in the car. They broke my arm. This hurts so much. Holy shit. Uh, how the hell do I treat this? Last time I broke a bow was before I can remember. Thank you all for your help and support. Now I've made a splint and I'm trying my best to rest now. I drove to the outskirts of the city, but I need more time to heal up. I feel so tired and I'm still in pain. I need as much strength as possible before continuing towards Danyan. Also, I caught up on the Mad Joy and Lost Sun News situation. I'm so glad they're together now. Lost Sun News and I have been back home for a while. Took a break from technology. I'm helping her with sorting through her DMs. So many people send incoherent nonsense. Can't tell if it's people who returned or if it's people who are just grieving. I'm so close to the coordinates now. It's been a long time since I've really thought about it. For the past few months, it's just been a mindless mission. But I don't know if I should put myself in an emotionally vulnerable mindset again. Whatever happens, happens. Hey Nat, it's your friend from the 92nd. I've been following what's been going on with you and I'm so sorry. I pray that Tucker can find you. As for me, my hopes are a bit higher than last time. As me and my small group made our way to Augusta, we ran into a military convoy leaving the ruins of Fort Gordon. We have since joined them. I feel better being around more people, but all these trucks are sure to attract some unwanted attention, I just know it. One of the survivors is a lieutenant colonel, and he says that there's some sort of contingency plan in place and we are heading to a camp now. He won't give any sort of other info, so I speculate that it is a lie to keep morale high. Either way, I just hope I get to see my family soon. Stay safe. People have been disappearing, and I don't mean from the blue or red lights. I was in contact with a military protected civilian camp over two-way radio. After talking to them for a few weeks, I knew the military was being pretty damn effective at fending off the headlights, using a method the colonel wanted to keep quiet for some reason. They go radio silent a day or two before I get there. When I finally reached the camp, half the military was gone. The rest of the squadron that was there said that the other half had hand-selected by the higher-ups to be taken elsewhere, but they've never been heard from again. There's another force at work here. I've been monitoring the Twitter chatter for a while, and I can't remain silent any longer. 
Because of the nature of my work and the insight I had, both I and my wife had scrubbed social media from our lives a couple years ago. I'm former Air Force Communications and Intelligence, but that's a few years removed now. I still know a thing or two, and what I learned in the service did make me a bit of a prepper. Being an early riser in Arizona, I caught what started happening on BBC World News as the veil came down. My wife and I grabbed our bug out bags, and because the event wasn't nuclear, we headed toward a specific area for refuge. We remained radio silent ever since. It's only my wife, my two-year-old daughter, and myself in a bunker made for far more. I can only think that maybe the others with the same plan either stayed to keep an eye on the news or to try to rescue loved ones. But they weren't ex-military. The siren sounds and you jump. For us, it was when the sun never rose that day. We've held up here pretty well, but the lack of radio comms was disheartening. There seemed to be a few ham radio people that managed to hold down maybe an hour of transmission, but then it quickly went silent. The security cameras told us that what we needed to know about the threat. The ships. Those strobe light drones I jokingly called disco clickers to make my wife laugh a little. The only time we poked our head out of this bunker was when we thought we saw other people. We have a two-stage airlock with blast doors that weigh tons. So I knew if my dumbass got killed, my wife and my baby would be safe. Before I even reached the surface, I heard gunfire. The people we saw on camera weren't people anymore. The group that dealt their fate told me they were heading south, and we were welcome to join. I tried to have them join my wife and daughter, but they seemed to have a destination in mind. While I gave them a couple of cases of MREs, I knew that they knew I had more. They just took what they needed and thanked me. I went to the coordinates. Nothing was there. I waited for so long, and nothing. My arm hasn't been healing. In fact, it's been getting worse. My veins surrounding the broken part are swelling and getting darker, I guess. This car has been following me for the past ten minutes. Pull over. We just want to talk. My blood just went cold. This isn't Danyan, but he is safe. Please pull over and let us talk to you. I'm doing it. I don't even know what to say after that encounter. I attempted recording, but they noticed and stopped me immediately. Maybe leave my phone in the car. I'm trying to make sense of what all they said. This is way beyond me. I was expecting a bunch of looters. Of course, they still had firearms, but they were very civilized. There was a man and a woman among the group. They seemed to be the ones in charge. They were using Danyan to get to me. Against his will. That's why he discouraged me from tweeting, and why he left. They said they wanted my help, but not contact me directly? I asked about Danyan, and they just kept repeating, he's safe, he's safe. They want my account. They consider it valuable for reasons they won't tell me. I said I'd consider it if they told me why. They wouldn't budge. Said that if the info is leaked in the wrong way, it will, and I quote, ruin our chances of survival. I don't know what they mean by that, but it scares the living hell out of me. Hey Nat, I've been stalking your page along with the other pages, and I know what happened about your mom and dad. I'm so sorry for your loss, and I can't even imagine what you're going through right now. My only advice is that you need to open up to Tucker. Your mind is one of the worst places to lurk in right now, even compared to the warm spots. I don't know Tucker's therapeutic credentials, or lack thereof, but it sure as hell is a lot better than your mind. Hey Nat, thank God Tucker found you. I've had a crazy month. We arrived at a makeshift tent city, and we stayed there for a couple of days. Then one night, a convoy of black SUVs arrived. Men in dark uniforms stepped out and formed us all up. They told the lieutenant colonel to come to the front, and then the men proceeded to address us by saying, We are in charge now, and here's what happens if you go against our rules. They then shot the lieutenant colonel right in front of us. They told us he lied about the number of troops he had. It was because of me that man died. The lieutenant colonel picked me and my group up in Augusta. I don't know how to feel about it. Then they moved us to a facility that had power and lights. That's where I've been ever since. No strobes come near here and I don't know why. They don't know I have my phone on me, but I'm scared to see what they do if they find it. Something weird is going on here. One of my friends I enlisted with in high school is here. He came from Washington. 
Said the army shipped him here a couple of days before the sun disappeared and didn't tell him why. The men in black uniforms have been interviewing us extensively. I may just ditch the uniform and go AWOL if this gets worse. Stay safe. I don't even know what to do now. I finally made it to the coordinates after all this time, only to be met with more questions. I think I've known for a long time. But now it really hit me. I'm purposeless. No, you're not. Just because you have no answers doesn't mean you have purpose. You need to keep on going and facing the obstacles you meet, no matter how dangerous they are. And if you don't do it for yourself, then at least do it for Danyan. Thank you. I'll try to remember that. It's just, what the hell can I do? Except give my account to these people that have Danyan. People have been sending me stuff they've been seeing and hearing. Unusual activity from the military, from the headlights, the ships. I'm starting to piece together what's going on. Another photo showed up in the Remember album. For those of you asking, I don't want to reveal what I might know about these people, since I know they're watching every tweet I send. In other news, my arm is getting even worse. There's this dark ooze coming from the wound now. How much of the contaminated water have you consumed? I, I don't remember. Why? It functions similar to mercury poisoning or lead poisoning. It does not just affect you in the short term, and it does not just affect you neurologically. It's in your bloodstream, and soon, if not already, in all of your vital organs. We're on the road now. She doesn't want to talk about it, but I helped bury her parents before we left. Hopefully it provided some closure for her. I don't want to be insensitive, but her dad's body was very decomposed. I wonder how long it had been there. I can't believe it's been over a year since the start of all of this. These days, the internet is less and less stable. But for speed, just slowing down. Social media is getting quiet. Don't know if it's because less people are alive or what. I don't really want to know. Nat and I see ships go by sometimes. But besides that, we've been living fairly comfortably in our routines for a while now. I hate that life like this feels normal. I told myself I wouldn't log back into this account again. But I had to get it off my chest. I despise this. I'm not strong enough. I can't help them. I can't save them. I can't save anyone. Not even myself. I've been thinking for a long time. Would it even make a difference if I hadn't gone after Danyan? Do the choices I make even fucking matter? Why even use this account? What is the point in tweeting to the void when there's nobody left? It is so, so quiet now. But the irony is, uh, my head isn't quiet. It's like all of the weight of the world got crammed into my brain. They won't stop whispering in my head. I think the accident with my arm, uh, I think it opened up something inside me. All my veins look like this. I feel like I have a fever. But at least I'm still alive, right? I made it back home. Everything is just where I left it. It feels deathly still here. What happened to the other survivors that you've talked to? They're gone. I don't know if they're still alive or not, but they certainly aren't here. I haven't heard from the group that had Danyan either. Alright, but why did you come back there? Where else am I supposed to go? Besides die out in the cold and dark. Where are you now? What are you going to do next? The world has been harvested. What is there left to do? It's over. We lost. She won't speak to me anymore. We sit at the dinner table completely silent. I, I don't know what I did. How the hell do I fix this? Hey, what's going on? Why won't you talk to me? I guess there's no point. What do you mean? I read TSV's tweets. We don't have a chance, do we? Please, don't think about it too hard. We are surviving. We are luckier than most people. What happens when our power runs out? Our clean food and clean water? <sighs> I, I don't know. We have a home here. That's what matters, right? I guess. 
Are you seriously posting this conversation? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I just don't know how else to fix this. I don't talk to you, so your solution is to screenshot our private conversation? Smooth, lol. Nat, please, I just want to help. I just want to be left alone for a while. Okay. I'm sorry for posting. I, I just need to fix this. Besides Nat, besides all of you, I have nobody else to turn to. I can't afford to lose someone else. It's funny to think about the mechanical abominations and the control people roaming free above ground while we're down here. Makes me wonder if it's so quiet now because whoever's left decided to give up fighting. Hey, I know your inbox is probably flooded with messages, so this will most likely get buried, but either way I have to tell you. Don't lose hope. You never know what will happen. And we also need you. You document things and keep us informed, and we can't thank you enough for that. Thanks everyone who has been asking about me. I'm doing okay. I've just had to do so much growing up in such a short amount of time. Don't even know why I'm on here now. I guess I miss having somebody to talk to. Yeah, I snuck away from Tucker a few weeks ago. I'm tired of people trying to take care of me and then let me down. He wants to act like an older brother to me, but doesn't know how to not control those around him. The surface isn't all that dangerous now. There's still power and internet. Despite the cold and dark, it's pretty normal. Sometimes I see people from a distance. We make eye contact, maybe a nod, and continue doing whatever we were doing. I want to say to keep sending your experiences in DMs, but... Does it really matter now? It's the same shit. Nothing is new anymore. The ones who are left know how to take care of themselves. Avoid threats, and survive. We, the ones who were left, carry on. Business as usual. Nat, please listen. None of this is adding up. How did the US military and every other military we know of just go silent practically overnight? After months of fighting these things, they suddenly give up? And every voice of influence with the reach to civilians also eventually gives up and takes ridiculous amounts of time in between posts. Also, what did TSV mean by harvested, if there are still people around? You should ask the Sun Vanished about what he meant, but from what I've gathered through DMs, all I know is that any war we were fighting was lost. You want to stay alive? You have to fend for yourself and rely on yourself. Nobody is going to come save us. I miss Danyan. It would be easier to function if I just knew for certain that he was alive or not. But all I have is this in-between. When I lie awake in the quietness, I can hear him. It's faint, and I can't tell what he's saying. But I know it's his voice. And now my only friends, the Mad Joy and Lost Son News, are estranged. I haven't heard from Tucker in ages. Did I fail? I couldn't save any of them. I'm just rotting here with whatever sickness I have, and the ships pass my house daily. I'm not even worth the trouble to finish off. Where are they going? The ships and the strobe lights. They're still here, but their patrol cycles have been different. Where are they going? I think I may be losing my sense of self now. Goes along nicely with losing my sense of time and sense of connection to others. Apologies in advance for my bad English. I was part of a small resistance effort in Poland. With the help of our armed forces, we created a weapon that could take down the flying ships. I never saw it in action, but we knew that the Americans used something similar before their military was decommissioned. But before we were ever really effective in our resistance group, a legion of those ships, and demon lights, flooded into the country and crippled us within hours. Thankfully, we were able to split up and take cover underground to the metros. But now it is next to impossible for us to fight. We are alone here. I'm, I'm sorry for being so cynical and jaded, but, but seriously, who are we now? Since the sun disappeared almost two years ago, who have you become? Maybe a friend? A leader? Maybe a monster? The dynamics change, but the outcome hasn't. So what can we do? Getting a lot of vague, nonsensical DMs talking about the people. Can you be more specific? You know who you are. Daniel is here. He's in the room with me. Look! He's standing behind me. I can see him in the mirror. Listen, 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 listen. 
He's here. I know it. I just don't know what to say to him. What should I say? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's dead. He's not fucking dead. I can see him right here. Say sorry. I told him I'm sorry for everything I did to him. I just, I just wanted to stay here with me again like how things used to be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, and I can't get him back. As contamination continues, it's not just repeating words and phrases. You start repeating past trauma, too. How do I know all of this? Because it's why Nat left. It's why I'm alone all over again. Since you won't shut the fuck up about my hand and arm, here it is! But I cannot fathom why that matters right now. I have to find Danyan. You don't have any idea what you're talking about, Tucker. They never left. 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 We need to talk. Nat? Holy shit, are you okay? Are you safe? What happened since you left? Sorry to disappoint you, Tucker, but it's not Nat. She is safe with us, though. Do not worry. What the fuck? Who is this? Why do you have Nat's account? As I said, she is safe with us. We have been the ones you ignored for a very long time. We contacted you and the sun vanished multiple times, and you did not cooperate. It's the people who were on Danian's phone number and took him from me. The liars. Oh. My. God. We are not liars. We are the people trying to help everyone stay safe. Using Danyan and Nat as leverage are not something we like resorting to, but it is justified. Your social media accounts have turned into a beacon for the world. When the news organizations and government broadcasts ceased transmission, you became the new media. Everyone has looked to you for guidance to survive. That is a very large responsibility that we the people believe neither of you are fit to have. I didn't ask for that responsibility. I, I don't want it anymore. So fine, you can take my account. I don't care anymore. Whoa, 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 hold on a sec. Nobody is taking anyone's accounts. Who are you to say what responsibility we're fit or not fit to have? I've heard about you people, and you have no right to take our accounts. What are you going to use them for anyway? We must stop all resistance efforts against the invaders. It only hurts our chances of future survival. I, I don't have the first idea what that means, but if, if I do what you want, will I see Danian again? Of course, you have our word, just as we promised before. But hold on, stop it. Stop all resistance efforts? So are you the ones who quietly shut down all the military operations to take those fuckers down? Sure as hell sounds like you are. That's irrelevant right now. <laughs> okay, sure. I'll take that as a yes. I need to see Danyan again. I'll, I'll do whatever it takes. Oh my god, stop it. I want to see Nat again too, but there is more at stake right now. They're trying to take advantage of your hopelessness. Our hopelessness. It lost some news. You said it hurts our chances of future survival. What does that mean? It means that if we continue fighting against the occupiers, there's a very good chance that we will go extinct. TSV, you cannot honestly be believing this shit. They just want control. Hell, they're probably working with them. We hate the invaders just as much as you do, Tucker. 
but we aren't naive enough to believe that we can defeat them. It would just encourage them to wipe us out entirely. We know what they are capable of. I, I don't know what to believe. I, I just need some time to think. Well, I don't. You the people can go fuck yourselves. I'm not giving you anything. You could take me, use me as ransom, but not her. You touch her, and I'll break you. Noted. I'm packing to leave first thing in the morning. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to find the people. Or they will find me. Hey, TSV. I just wanted to say something. Out of you, Nat, and Tucker, you were the biggest influence to everybody out here. You keep the majority of us sane in this crazy world. Whatever these guys are doing, don't believe them. And definitely don't trust them. If they really wanted to save us, then why are they using us as ransom? They're just as dangerous as the lights. Please stay safe. We trust you. I don't know why you believe in me, but thank you. Two years. It's been exactly two years since the day this all started. The days have gotten so dark now. I can feel it sinking deep in me. But you know what the irony of it is? I felt it from the start. It was small, the tiniest speck of darkness on the edge of my mind. But it was there. It's always been there. Why couldn't I have done better? What stopped me from being better? I focused on the threats of the world. Did, did I ever stop to think about myself? Beyond survival? <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Why did you leave me when I needed you? Guy, I relied on you. <laughs> you never relied on me. Guy was living for you. But now I know I can't do that anymore. I think I'm beginning to understand. I can't just survive. I have to live. I just killed one of those things. We have a chance to fight against them. You can't hold Danyan's life over me anymore. This is what happened to my old phone. Text conversations, contact list, all gone. My only hope now is to reach out on Twitter to Tucker and find out where he went and track down the people who took Nat. Nat's in safe hands. See the code. To ensure, protect, don't eat internet. If this means what I think it means. Found the decryption from someone else in the comments. Not only she's, or anyone else, saying Nat is in safe hands. But there's another message. If we consider the lowercase as a Morse dot, and the uppercase as a Morse dash, this is what we'll get. Which literally translates to, Remove TSV immediately. I wonder where this is going. Actually, I shouldn't be getting the credit for this because I was told by some guy in the comments about how to decrypt it. But thanks. Remove TSV immediately. The sun vanished. Where are you? We need you. They still have Nat. It's time. I have to step out of my silence. 
I know there's a lot of questions, and I'll try my best to explain everything I know. It's been three and a half years since the sun disappeared, and these invaders came. If you look into their red strobe light, you'll never be the same again. It's like you're no longer human. After time passed, most water sources slowly became contaminated with dark water, an unknown substance that makes you paranoid, hallucinate, and forget. Over time, I drank too much, and I've been poisoned by it irreversibly. The military fought these invaders for a while, but for some reason a global ceasefire was called. We still don't know where the troops or their governments went. They all disappeared. Early on I got in touch with my childhood best friend Danian. We always moved around to stay out of the invaders path. But one day, he just left. He said it was for my protection, but I felt betrayed. I made some other friends along the way. Tucker, the Mad Joy, and Nat, lost son News. Tucker rescued Nat from their mother who looked into the red strobe light and became violent. They found a safe house with enough resources to hunker down for a while, but I think Nat felt like Tucker was being too overprotective, so Nat left. But in both Nat and Danian's case, I believe they were both taken by a group of people who want control of this account. They call themselves We the People, and I never trusted them from the very start. There's a possibility that Danian was involved with them in some way. And that concerns me even more. They even took control of Lost Sun News and pretended to be Nat for a while. I never thought about it before. But it's suspicious that somehow the internet is still online and electricity is still accessible in most cities and hubs. And yet the governments, news networks, any public officials from before the sun vanished are all gone. I think all of this is connected. We the people are the same group that called the ceasefire, the same group that took our friends. If that's true, they're powerful. What do they want to use this account for? Why are they taking our allies away? Are my friends still even alive? I wanted to stop using this account because I've been afraid that it puts me and my friends in more danger. But now these we the people put a hit out on me. Being quiet doesn't work. So it's time to be vocal. I'm going to find my friends, dead or alive, even if it starts a war. I think I accidentally discovered a secret weapon. I was able to destroy one of the strobes. I'm not sure how or why, but something is different about me now. We the people should know that I'm not going to be fucked with. I'm going to try to find Tucker first, since he went after Nat, but I don't think he even knows where to look. But we will find a way. We will get Nat back, and maybe even Danyan too. To those who have been with me so far, thank you. No more silence. I will keep all of you in the loop from this point on. It's time to make a difference. I've been dreaming strange things like this for a while now, revisiting old places and lost memories. They feel so clear and certain when I wake up, but it drifts away as quickly as it came. Really wish I still had that Remember photo album from my dead phone. Anyway, I'm still waiting to hear from Tucker, and then it's back into the wild. I don't know what I'm going to find out there. Tucker finally reached out. He's in a city with signal that's not too far from me. Only a couple hours. This is the first in a long time that I'll be going back out there. Not sure how ready I am for this. About my arm. I never got real treatment when I broke it. It was excruciating for a long time. But the dark water made it sort of... go away? Not sure how else to describe it but my skin feels paper thin and my veins are dark and bulging. I've gotten used to it now. The sun vanished. You're going to want to see this. The outer parts of the city are swarming with strobes and ships, but it looks as though the inner city is clean. It gets colder the further you move in. This may be where they're keeping Nat, but considering the graffiti all over the place, it might also be a trap. Either way, you need to wait for me. Don't go in alone. I'll be there as soon as I can. My second biggest fear is that they have an alliance with the invaders. What's your biggest fear? That they don't. If anyone has more information on We the People, please reach out to me. It's safe to assume coming to this city is a trap, but I need to know what I'm getting myself into. We the People seems to refer to the American Constitution. So it's perhaps freedom fighters? If they're fighting for freedom, I'm not sure what they're doing in the center of an area surrounded by those things. 
It's honestly a little disturbing. I'm stuck at a roadblock on the highway. Tucker couldn't have known since he didn't come from this direction. I can't afford to lose this car or the stuff I can't carry with me. Hard to tell. It's so dark out here. I can't even see what's behind it. That worries me. Yeah, of course I have light, but I shouldn't attract too much attention to myself. I even taped over my car headlights for the bare minimum brightness to still see the road. You never know who or what could be watching. I'm leaving the city now, on my way to find him. I don't think I'm alone out here. I'm just a sitting duck out here, but I don't know what else to do. I don't think I have enough fuel to turn around and not sure if it's safe to get out and try moving the roadblock. But the longer I'm here, the more paranoid I'm getting. I swear I keep hearing noises outside, but it stops before I can pull my phone out to record. Tucker should have been here by now. Okay, I'm not hallucinating. The noise is real. What the hell? Never heard this before. Taking your advice and hiding. Keys are out of the ignition. I'm not even going to risk the light from my phone screen for now. We'll check in as soon as I can. I found you. Hang tight. What the hell is out there? Not sure. I'm trying to move the roadblock from the other side. I think the people are here too. Status? I was able to move the roadblock mostly. The fuck do you mean mostly? That's more of a yes or no. It's pitch black out here, I can barely see anything, but it's enough to fit through. <laughs> Maybe enough for your giant pickup truck to bust through. Stop fucking around and get out of there, they're closing in. Here goes nothing. We know where you are. Tucker and I are together now, moving through the city, staying low and avoiding unwanted attention. But something doesn't feel right about this place. Tucker gets more and more anxious any time we travel through the streets out in the open. I can't say I disagree, but what choice do we have? I have some information you and Tucker will want to hear. I know how to get you to Nat. If you're interested, I'll be in touch. Stay vigil. Your informant. New lead. Obviously this is a trap, but Tucker believes it's our only option. Can't say I blame him. Every other lead went cold a long time ago. Tucker disagrees, but I think we should find our own way without this informant. Ever since we encountered that howling strobe fucker, I'm scared what will happen if we play into their hands. I need to know I'm not crazy on this. How can we make a difference and find Nat if we don't know where the fuck we're going? We have to stop dilly-dallying when we don't know how much time we have. Clocks ticking. Deciding our fate by an internet poll. That dark water fucked with this head warden, I thought. Can you all have my back for once? TSV just uses you to justify what he does. <sighs> fuck this. Should we keep doing polls? So, have y'all just been sitting in the same spot for months, or... We've been driving around aimlessly because we dropped the one actual lead we had. 
If you're gonna mock me while I'm supposed to be helping you, I'll just wait on my own. We should talk about this privately. Now you want this to be private. Maybe none of this was a good idea. The fuck does that mean? Look at yourself, man. You're not well. They want your account, they'll give a snap. Daniel's gone because of this account. I don't want you to go because of it too. At least I helped my friends instead of shooting them. Flynn, right? How much did you help him? I didn't shoot him. I trapped him in the garage and turned the car on. By the sun vanished. You sure made that difference. I'm sorry I brought up Flynn. I know. Sorry I brought up Danyon. They've been with me a lot longer than you have. I could leave. Tucker. What? I hope you're right about the informant. Tucker's gone. He's going to find the informant. This is where we part ways. I prefer Danyon as a second fiddle, honestly. Preferred? Never mind. I'm sending you my location. I got into contact with the informant. He's not too excited that it's just me, but he's accepted. The informant chose an empty parking lot as our meeting place. Sorry, I don't trust you just yet. Let's get to talking. Keep in the shadows, man. You guys would never steer me wrong, right? Because you're why I do this. There's somebody out there, terrified, who needs a guidepost. We the people can't be that. They'll keep us afraid and ready to die. But if an ad is dead already, it doesn't matter. Maybe you're better off in their hands. Nat has all toes and fingers. She smiled today for the first time. Nice teeth. Stop freaking them out. Nat's gonna be fine. She's a bargaining chip. Go to bed. You're clogging up my notifications. I'm waiting for a message. Thank you all for being here with me. Bit scouring online, knocking out a few possibilities for their location. I think I'm going to be on the road again soon. There's so many abandoned parking garages around here. Saw a couple strobes in the distance. I don't even think they picked up that I was there. They were so scary in the beginning. I think this guy knows how to find Nat. Or at least knows how to find people who know how to find her. And he's not a WTP plant? Defector. I didn't think the people had defectors. He's fast. You doing okay over there? The best I can. You? I'm just worried about her. Come on, Lost Sun News. No more weird comments. Cryptic bullshit? Where's my clue? My death threats, huh? We convene per correspondence. Regretful delay in response. The clues are ineffective. The threats are ineffective. We hopes to have a count by now. We apologize. Offer location and we will send liaison first thing in the morning. That was a joke. There is no morning. <sighs> Fuck it. Liaison will arrive in four days. Our new friend finally showed his face. Kid, maybe 16. Brave son of a bitch. He's going back to his hideout, and he's got a map. Told me to follow a day or two behind in case it's been compromised. I'm trying to tell myself this was a good idea. Three days. Two days. I'm gonna log out of my account for a couple days. If this is a setup, I can't let them get into it. I'll be recording the meetup. If it's safe, you'll hear from me then. Heading to the hideout. TSV, I hope one of us is on the right path. One day. Shit. Gas ran out. Gonna try to siphon from some cars in the parking lot and get on the road quick.
Hey, Daniel. I recorded our conversation. You look well. You look good. I am. To get you out of I'm it. not going with you. You have to. You're here. To get you to come with me. No. You're not saying this. Are they threatening? Are they threatening you? They're not hurting me. They're not hurting Matt. They're not hurting you. Just give them the account and this is all over. You're not Daniel. Maybe not the Daniel you've been thinking about while I've been gone. But it's me. And you would have apologized. Tell me what I did that didn't help you get here, and then I'll be sorry. I wish we hadn't been separated for so long. I also wish you would come happily, and you're letting me down as I'm sure I'm letting you down. It's mutual. You don't know what's best for me anymore. You always liked how stubborn I was. I got smarter. You should do the same. I don't know how this happened. Am I going crazy? I slept in the car last night and cried. Danyan's a mess. He looks wrong. He sounds wrong. He's gross and wet. It's like a long lost dream having him here. Hey, the Mad Joy, I just saw your video. Please be okay. I'm logging off for a while. I'm tired of having a target on my back and not getting respect. Sun Vanished, do me a favor and give them your account so I can get my friend back. We're not the enemies. We just want everyone to be safe and live their long, fulfilled life in the world. Bring us the bodies of those you've lost. We will do what we can to reunite with them. We know there are many out there, lost and afraid, who think of us as dangerous. Look at what we've done for the Sun Vanished. No secrets about our differences. We returned him his best friend. The Sun Vanished, you're always welcome here. We hope you see this as a sign of goodwill and apologies for our previous threats. I feel so at peace now. Like my head is lighter? Uh, maybe that's a sign. Daniel started talking more about us going back to We the People. Now that Tucker's gone, I'm starting to wonder if I should. It was quiet last night, so I walked around in the dark a bit, and this thumping in the back of my head started coming back. I hadn't realized it. I stopped hurting as soon as Daniel showed up. Daniel explained that the dark water of my blood doesn't get along with the blood. It's hurt for so long, I forgot that it even hurt. It's like being able to breathe again. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Same place. Hey, lost some news? Trade the account for Nat, right? And you promise she's safe? And you promise nothing will happen to us? Okay. Fuck it. We are making arrangements for your arrival, the sun vanished. You've made Nat very happy. Still think about that dream of all my friends lying dead in the snow. Is that what happens if I keep fighting? I know a lot of you don't trust this, or Danyan, 
or even me. But maybe what I'm doing is for the best. For the first time since the sun vanished, I'm not looking for answers. Nat's going to be safe. Danyan's safe. If Tucker can find his way, that's everyone. Everything I've wanted. I can't agree with we the people, but they're keeping people safe. Something I couldn't do. I failed. Maybe I'm not the hero. Not even sure the world really needs one anyway. If they do, it's not me. This is going to be for the best. We're glad we can put our differences aside. Woke up to Danyan having a coughing fit. It sounds like hell. Having so much of that stuff in you? Been on the road for a good few days. I've been asking Danyan all the personal questions I can think of. Just to be safe. He passed the test with flying colors. Ask me anything. Get it off your chests. We'll be replying for a bit. Danyan won't say where we're going. His answers are getting short, but we're still days away from we the people. He pulled into a suburb and stopped on the road. He turned around, told me to stay fucking quiet, and left. Fuck, it's hurting again. Fuck, I, th I think I made a mistake. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why did I agree to this? I'm so fucking stupid. Goddamn child locks, Daniel. Really? I have to... I have to close my eyes. I fucking hate this pain. Is that Tucker? Tucker's alive, but barely. Danyan put him in the back seat. I gave him some real water. Danyan thinks we should give him some dark water in case he's too far gone. My headache's gone. I'm in the back seat with Tucker, keeping his legs elevated. He's shivering. I don't think he would have made it if we hadn't gotten there. How did he know? Woke up about five minutes ago. Freaked out. Caught up with TSV's tweets. Daniel's asleep in the front. Going to try and grab TSV and run. TSV didn't wake up. Daniel did. Grabbed me and held me against the car. I'm in the back seat again. He's fucking strong. I don't like this. Talked to Tucker and explained everything. He doesn't love it, obviously, but he's on board. Told Daniel if he ever roughs Tucker up again, the deal's off. Apparently, Tucker's meeting with the informant went south, and one of the We the People scouts found the carnage. It was bad. The informant died, but the scouts told Danny where to pick up Tucker. I don't know if I should be thankful or paranoid. Tucker's still asleep. He's better, breathing normally, but needs a lot of rest. Danny's suggesting more dark water, but I told him to stop asking. Tucker's awake more than he's asleep. He and Danyan still don't trust each other. But what can you do? We're a few days away from we the people. Tucker says he remembered me talking about the mirrors from a few years back. Saved his life. This is the video I took when I found the informant. Danyan says we're getting close now. I see what you've been saying. I know I should be more scared of what might happen when we arrive. I'm more scared of Danyan. But after all this time, I'm just tired of living each day not knowing if it'll be my last. It's exhausting. Wouldn't you make the same choice? We arrived. They don't want us taking any photos of the complex on the outside to keep the location secure. Thank god, Nat's alive. She looks pretty weak, hasn't had a lot of food, but she's alive. Doesn't seem to be in too much pain. 
She says she hasn't had any dark water. Tucker's been crying and apologizing for ten minutes. Hi everyone, it's me again. They said they don't have use for this account anymore, since it's so much smaller. So my phone's back. Gonna look through any messages and stories from outside. Thank you for believing in me. Those who did. I sleep most of the day now, so I won't be too active. But I'm sure it'll be easier now that the guys are here. I couldn't get to sleep until late, but when I finally did, I got the first peaceful night's rest in... years. I just can't believe we're all here. Danyan came to our door with a message. It's time for my end of the bargain. A man named Abdeel will be taking control of this account in 15 minutes. He says everyone here, except for Danyan, has chosen a new name. Says it makes them freer. Abdeel. Seems genuine, I guess. He's going to be giving out tips on how to stay alive. That's the best thing that's come from this account. Communicating with you all and letting you know survival is possible. Per the arrangement, I'll still be updating you all through the accounts at the Mad Joy and Lost Sun News, run by my friends Tucker and Nat. We'll keep you posted, so you know we're safe. We the people ran Nat's account as a collective. The threats against me, they pointed out who suggested them, and after I asked him to not work on this account, they agreed. I think this might be an okay deal. I'm not the hero. If giving away control is how I help keep you all safe, then it's the right thing to do. It's actually pretty nice here. They need to allocate more food since we've arrived, but it seems we're being taken care of. Thank you all for joining me on this part of my adventure. I hope you stick around. I may be leaving this account, but I'm not going anywhere. Do I always sound like such an asshole? I've never been great at goodbyes. The sun vanished. Signing out. Thank you so much to my YouTube members and Patreon members for all the love and support. It's thanks to people like you that we can keep growing.